What's going on YouTube? Geosnorek here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the release of a new vulnerability for the iOS 11.3 and lower by Iron Beer. And we're going to discuss about it. The reason I didn't make a video earlier about this since it's been released like a day ago is because it's not a major vulnerability but it's still very important for jailbreaking so I decided to cover it due to popular requests. We're talking about this vulnerability that has been patched in iOS 11.3.1. If you take a look here at the security contents of the 11.3.1 one, you can see that the first one here is Crash Reporter and it has been actually published or actually disclosed to Apple by Jan Beer or Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. Now this one here it says quote an application may be able to gain elevated privileges, which is quite good for a jailbreak. So it says in here a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved error handling. That's pretty much a candid response. But anyways, it affects iPhone 5s and later, and it's definitely something interesting. So let's check it out in here. Now the Project Zero account, which is by the way not affiliated with Google Project Zero itself, it's actually a third party that runs this account, uh, published quote macOS stroke iOS report crash Mac port replacement due to failure to respect MIG ownership rules. So it's pretty much a link to this which has been posted by Ian Beer and apparently this has been around since February 7 but of course it has not been publicly available. So it is compatible with at least iOS 11.2.6, 11.2.5 and 11.2.2 although I think it's compatible with uh, the entire iOS 11.2 range. Yeah and with 11 .3. But anyways, you can actually download it in here if you want to take a look um, at it. There is a little bit of information available in here if you want to check it out. But anyways, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because this vulnerability seems to be okay, seems to be important. Well, it's not a kernel vulnerability, so it's not that important, but it still can help to bypass the sandbox or to escape the sandbox on iOS if exploited properly. Now, this is not an exploit, this is a vulnerability with a proof of concept. So yeah, it pretty much says in here that this proof of concept demonstrates the bug by destroying report crashes uh, sent right to log D. Use a debugger or LSMP to see what's happening. It has been tested on macOS 10.13.3. Now this is a macOS and iOS vulnerability, so it can be used in both of them, but we're only interested in the iOS aspect of it. So yes, this may help if exploited properly to escape the sandbox, which is okay. As Apple said in here, it may help to gain elevated privileges, which is okay for a jailbreak. But yes, it's not a kernel vulnerability, but it's still not enough in order to trigger a jailbreak. So we still need more vulnerabilities on top of it. But yeah, it's one more vulnerability, not one less vulnerability. So the more vulnerabilities we have, the more we can work with, which means the faster we get a jailbreak. So it's always a good idea to have many vulnerabilities to work with. It's like, you know, it's like having a tool set. If you only have like a screwdriver, which is having like a Phillips head, and you only have that one, it may not work on other devices or on many of the devices you want to fix. But if you have an entire tool set with all the bits and all the possible screwdriver heads, then you're set. No matter what device you have, you probably have a screwdriver in that tool set that would uh, fit and that would take the screws apart so you can open the device. The same thing applies for the jailbreaking. If you only have a vulnerability to rely on, it's probably not enough and it's probably not going to help you find more vulnerabilities or to I don't know, create a jailbreak. But if you have more vulnerabilities and each vulnerability attacks a different part of the system, at the end of the day, you might have enough vulnerabilities to put together something to find much more important vulnerabilities or to simply create a proof of concept jailbreak. So it's always important. That's why I'm making this video to let you know that a new vulnerability is out. Do not update to iOS 11.3.1 since this vulnerability is patched on iOS 11.3.1, but it works on iOS 11.3 and lower. By the way, if you're running iOS 11.2.6 or 11.2, 11.2.2 or any other version of 11.2.x, do not update to 11.3 yet. It's definitely important to stay where you're at. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.